five and a half bath house. There was in foreclosure. For Belvedere, that's a small house. Yeah, that's a small Dang, house, man. sadly. That's a wealthy place. Their House Republicans voted today to hold Attorney General Eric Holder in contempt of Congress. Fox's James Rosen in Washington with the latest. 258, the nays are 95 with five voting present. The resolution is agreed to. In a historic, mostly party line vote, the House of Representatives placed Attorney General Eric Holder in criminal and civil contempt of Congress. It's the first time a sitting attorney general has been held in contempt. The moves followed Holder's refusal to turn over to the House Oversight Committee additional documents it was seeking in its investigation of the botched gun tracking operation known as Fast and Furious. Today's vote is the regrettable culmination of what became a misguided and politically motivated investigation during an election year. By advancing it over the past year and a half, Congressman Issa and others have focused on politics over public safety. A large group of Democrats, as well as the 42-member Congressional Black Caucus, stalked out of the chamber and refused to vote. This is something that is, uh, make, makes a witch hunt look like a day at the beach. Operation Fast and Furious was a covert project in which Arizona-based law enforcement officers allowed some 2,000 guns to flow south of the border with the aim of tracing the weapons to Mexican drug cartels. But some 300 of the guns were lost, and two were found at the murder scene of U.S. Border Patrol agent Brian Terry, who was killed in December 2010. Today we are only here to determine over the 10 months from the time in which the American people and the Congress of the United States was lied to, given false, literally the reverse, statement that no guns were allowed to walk. President Obama invoked executive privilege to withhold the Justice Department documents from the Oversight Committee. Chairman Issa has acknowledged he has no evidence at present indicating that the most infurious case. In Washington, James Rosen, Fox News. Parents, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children...